this is my very first Zalora shoe purchase and my very first Under Armour pair of sneakers. Not a very big fan of Under Armour because of Steph Curry. I've lost money because of him betting against the Golden State Warriors alongside Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson. But of course, I acknowledge that Steph Curry is one of the best three-point shooters in the NBA and also one of the greatest players that, played, that has played the game. Now, I heard this one can counter steps. Uh, so this one has a chip inside that connects to a mobile app via Bluetooth. Uh, but uh, it can also do more than counting steps. Um, so let's see how will that go. I also want to compare that with a pre-installed app or pre-installed step monitor app on, on my phone. Let's see if there is a difference. Now, let's unbox this first and let me do my 5,000 steps and I'll let you know what I think after. This one is the Under Armour over Phantom Run. So let's just quickly unbox this. Let me just show you that. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I ordered the gray one, but they sent me <laughs> the triple white one. Eh. Just a quick look. I've already pre downloaded the app. I'll connect this one later. And I'll do my usual 5,000 steps. I'm guessing this is where the microchip or the chip is. The uppers feel cool in the feet. These are pretty breathable, I should say. Let me just complete my 5,000 steps so that I can give an accurate review. So this is what the MyMap MyRun app looks like. So it will map your run or walk using the GPS on your mobile phone. Shows you the speed of your pace as well. Now while in motion, you will see yourself moving as well on the app. The app also shows you the duration of your workout and other stats as well that you can customize. A few moments later. And this one is from the Under Armour app. Unfortunately, the app does not count your steps real time, which was what I wanted. A few moments later. Take note that there is a big discrepancy between the steps that I made between the default app on my phone and the Under Armour app. 
Now the retail price on this is 9,995 pesos or $207. But these are now on sale, the white colorway being the cheapest at 50% off because they are harder to maintain. Now in terms of stability, this is a very light pair of sneakers. It's uh, pretty stable and didn't feel wobbly. Now this one is called the Under Armour Hover Foam. This is the main reason why this shoe is very light. Uh, also makes the shoe more responsive like the Nike Reacts Foam. It's encased with a stronger foam midsole because this material will wear down easily. In terms of comfort, these are very comfortable. Your feet just slips inside like a sock. There was no uncomfortable rubbing sensation while walking in them. The upper is pretty much stretchable. Come to think of it, uh, this one looks like a crossover between the original Ultra Boost and the NMDs. Uh, you got your heel cups here. Uh, what looks like a cage cage and the stretchy upper like the NMDs. In terms of traction, traction is pretty good uh, but I haven't tried this on wet surfaces. You've got this uh, nub textures that looks like coronaviruses that provide extra grip. Online reviews say that the sizing is a bit small, so I'm a size 10 when wearing Ultra Boost, and these are size 10s as well. But these are a bit big for my feet when going sockless, but they fit perfectly with thicker socks. Overall, if you're copying this, go for the colored ones like the triple black. Whites are really hard to maintain. I was just really being cheap. That's why I ended with a triple white colorway. Well, I thought I was copying the gray one, but you know, I ended with a triple white.